hi, bye, don't care. Note one, chapter one, whatever. It's me doing my notes for my personal uses. This is the Art of War. Written by Sansu. There are many um strategies book from Originally from Africa, Shaka Zulu, Shaman for strategists to uh, freaking Russia and Bloody Mary strategists and bunch of stuff in terms of political control or war or strategy or espionage, counterintelligence, uh, stuff like that. You can go to military and learn that as well. Formation tactics, gangs and stuff, mafia, douchebags, KKK and stuff. First off and foremost, most of the stuff was originated from thousands of years ago out of the most famous one I know is Asia, Greece, Africa, and certain parts of Europe, and certain natives I don't, don't know. I have to talk to the people I used to don't know if they went missing. Who cares? The whole freaking area went missing. Probably got abducted. Who knows? But um, most strategies have we have today a uh, strategy from old. It is more bullcrap attitude that's totally unnecessary. War is an art of deception. You have swords and spirits then, now you got guns, douchebags, and everything else. The same thing, method that was used then, is used now, but it's more up to like, um, sometime in World War II, China used to rape Japan. No, first Japan attacked China, and then China like, we're not playing that. And then they used to rape females and tear me out and kill your kids and stuff. And it's the same thing with U.S. and every other country, especially Russia. Russia still doesn't that state, but U.S. does state. If you look up the CIA advanced interrogation, CIA advanced interrogation mission, don't call it CIA. Call it everyone. You can even do back KKK and gangs, of, like right now, do back aside. But as I said before, um, FRL. But the art of war written by Sansu, I've written the small notes for people to understand. There are four sections. Yes. The reason why I get all my stuff because the age I remember and be upset going to school. My farm engineering will not finish to the end of next year. I got biting geomatics and then I got aviation next year and I will be done entirely with any schooling. I would transfer the credits over and that'd be it. I want nothing else other than farm engineering. I have everything other than how to build boats, which I already know how to do, sort of, kind of. Um, so, that's pretty much for my schooling now. There are schools like debate, debating, basically you learn how to tongue twist someone's clothes out. You don't even have to be right. You're good looking, even though he's not, or she's not, or they're not, or unspecified vaginas. You're good looking, count some money, oh sure, here you go. Yeah, I lied about that, of you. Ha ha, I got you. Basically, pretty much, just more advanced, poor crowd. Um. Art of War is based on deception, basically. This is bull crap, you know. The fourth step is laying the plans, moral law, the heaven, which stands for the seasons of the day, like the daytime is the nighttime, it's a hot, cold outside, it's gonna rain and stuff. And then the earth stands for the terrain, the distance, your security, how well can you apply it to that area. Then there's uh, the commander code. You have your own set of code, and most people don't understand today. Actually, I never understand your species history. Is that once you set a code for everyone else, don't do as you do, don't do as I do. According to the combat veteran stuff, don't do as I do, but you do as I say, but don't do as I do. You end up doing as I do. So if you're gonna say, do it. If you don't say it the first day, people know you are walking. You get what you have today. That's basically the commander code, and. The method of discipline is training the military action against freaking disobedient people, whatever. That comes back to moral laws, which come back to the commander code, which come back to your code of standing and come back to lying plans. Like old school mafia used to have this code and stuff. Yes, mafia originated by Caucasian, but mafia is the same thing as a gang and everything else on the planet. When I was in the military, my drill sergeant A told me the military will break you down. I said, why would they do that? Like, once you got an OS, OS, OSUT and AIT, they will purposely break you down. If you don't get along with them, they will purposely try to kick you out. Which I see most people, and even they do that to nowadays. When the military get too many people they can pay, they start kicking people out. Oh, you drop a soap? You're out. But like I said, A team or B team, that's kind of the moral law. And that's how yeah, most people throughout history up to this day and future is going to keep going. Um, you need a understanding of stick to that situation or scenario. 
Alexa stream and go back to the meeting until you change, you become an a hole the moment you left up. So, um, that's just that. And as I say, warfare is based on deception. Y'all already know my categories I have. I usually have four categories someone I don't know, someone I hate, someone who's in a neutral zone, I don't know you, and I but I do know that I heard about you and someone who I consider close friends and family. You gotta get in my friend zone before you get in my family zone since that's L. And then if you are in the other three categories, you are up for debate. And then there's that hate. That means I do not like nothing about you. Which is kind of war based on warfare deception. Most warfare based on deception is enticed and hatred for the opponent or enemy. That could be a good thing. That could be a bad thing. Hitler did a good job. Hey, we see what happened. Hitler did a pretty good job because he's like this solo country is by himself with two other countries, but he got three of the smaller countries doing it and like, you know. And the US been doing it for a while, which is why US, Russia, and China, and UK are one of the four major powers out there. Yeah, bullcrap laws, middle finger, but you know, whatever. Uh, stuff like that. Terrorism. Uh, I don't really consider people like that terrorists. I just don't care. No one shoot at me and I shoot back at them. Just Point bank is simple, but stuff like that. Warfare is based on deception. The art to deceive, the art to appear. If the enemy have 500 more people to appear, like you have 600 more, or run away and leave me to trap, stuff like that. Anyway, you know, finance and you need finance to wage war or to provision war. I mean, you might have to raise taxes or lower taxes or forced labor as they did back in the day, stuff like now. Like, Finance on slavery back then. Um, the main reason why the South law because they had a provisional constitution of the United States. This is the Confederate stuff. Actually, take that back. It was called the Country of the Confederation at the time. And one of the laws that you had to be a 26 year old male who was married and white at that time. No natives, no browns, no foreigners, none of that. Born American, nothing else to be able to vote or get a say so in it, which caused them the downfall, which comes to financing because a slavery just don't get paid. Like there's two forms of slavery, actually there's three forms. There's slaves and there's serf. Slaves are you don't get paid wage, you have no say so. Serf they get more benefit than slaves, but they're still slaves. They just get paid money for it. <laughs> but that's the main reason why they lost the finance. South may have food and North have weapons, but the problem at that time. North, Northern has smart enough people that they use slaves in the South to teach them how they grow food. Which is one of the main reasons why I as a South far because A, pretty much as you say, you're not going to do what I want you to do. You're not going to feed me food. Why should I listen to you when they're going to feed me? Pretty much the same thing today. Like the police officer out here, douchebags, came over yesterday. Totally ignore what I said, but you know, whatever. Simple. They went for the A team, not the B team. Which one fit more of their benefit? But trust me, you still got ruckus ruckus out there and you still got KK out there. I've been everywhere in the whole United States. Somehow KK is still managing to finance themselves. Well, it's not that difficult to finance themselves in this day and age and the planning but whatever. We're not even going discuss that. I mean, you finance a long war. They can exhaust your economy, your people, your taxes, your uses of resources. It could put Bad things on people way back before guns came out. If you wage war for a long period of time, you let the four soldiers come in. A that would create bandits or thieves and stuff. No mills all at the house protect your family, and aka your family get raped or killed. And they got people deserting and all this stuff. And all it's always been that way up to date, even the Vietnam War. Ali did a good thing. Everyone, oh, you deserted the freaking Vietnam War, you suck. But when the Vietnam War was sort of lost. L, you a hero. Congratulations. No douchebag. Keep your same opinion you had before. But anyway, finance thing. A long war will cause us your economy no matter what. Unless it's by me. And then I'm going to be rolled. But anyway. And then, short war will have benefits. You don't waste your economy you go through, but it's a problem with that. Short war is meaning it's not a war, it's a battle or a scrimmage. And it basically means you just bully someone that badly, or you just trash Rick Rodham, or it can look bad on y'all according to other worlds. So both sides got back in good time. Long words, you can exhaust the enemy or exhaust yourself, so it's either or.
as I said before, I rig roll people. I can't be concerned. The next step is how does that impact? If you were to wait for it, you still have to follow the four or five base plans. You gotta lay your plans out. You gotta know your moral laws. You gotta know the heaven, AK, what time and date. Throughout the whole war and season, you gotta know the distance, the rain you wanna rage at. You gotta know, you have to have a more conduct of your code for commander, and you gotta have a method of discipline, and then you still have that finest, which already comes down to finance to play. And how will that impact? How will it impact the citizen? How will it impact your people? United States of the people, for the people, by the people. Hell, they should just throw that bull crap out and say whoever got rich and money. But no. The same thing for the rest of the planet. Hey, Saudi Arabia. Fun stuff. Anyway. And a commander, usually you go down with your ship, but that don't happen anymore. But as I stated before, if the enemy paralyzes, you run away. And this comes down to financing. Are you willing to sacrifice people with the fat on you? Or are you willing to sacrifice people to the good of you? Or stuff like that. That's just the basics of lying out a war or setting up a gang of mafia. I set up a business wise of anything. The reason I said I set up business wise is because in my scenario right now, everyone is definitely just back. But, you know, please, not that bull crap. And other business like. Uh, dude's back, police officer. That's a, that's a good fun. That's a fun game. Fun stuff. But anyway, um. Strategizing all that stuff, knowing the finance on your people and yourself, and how it will affect taxes and stuff like that. Um, they say that George Bush Senior stated that when you have a war, also a war on enemies, or the people say war on enemies. So I say he invented it though, some way before him invented thing. I forgot what it was. It was after. It was doing World War One when I heard it first, and it was doing further back than that. I heard it. It's, it's standard tactic to um, not fight at your soul, but to fight on the enemy's soul. They are strategium, strategium, strategy. Let's call it that. Plans, tactics, whatever. Screw the enemy up. There's two sides to it. There's more code. Well, you can take your enemy, but you do not kill them unless, unless it's absolutely necessary. You want to turn your enemy to your side. You want to convince your enemy you're right. Basically, during the Vietnam War, both sides was getting captured and both sides was getting brainwashed and stuff like that. Or not even brainwashed. You want to show them that you are better than other people, which is why the Genova Code, Genova Convention come in. Hell. But whatever. That's good enough, yes. Show them you are high ability than them. You do not kill as you need to, and you want to convert people to you, like Jehovah Witness and Christians. Like, I want to know how does Christianity, Hinduism, and Islam spread all the whole dang world. Those three religions have three separate origins. Somehow they spread over the whole thing. But, you know, don't mind me. No, you're not using my brain belly to make your bull crap card. We already discussed this before. I slayed your guys. No. But anyway, when you want to take a country or something, you want to take it as a whole. Most wars, there are two formal wars. Pride and ego or food. So when I say you want to take the country out of whole because they got food because you messed up, you know, or ego, oh man, that would that'd be most likely, it'd be, be a mix of both. Like if Vada Pullman told me to screw you and I tell him don't attack Ukraine, I would just push the nuke button, that's just me, but, you know, whatever. And then stuff like that, ego and food. If you have started a food where you have to attack someone, that's your screwed up in like all and all this stuff, or if you start a war because of ego, whatever. Now, and then the other good side of going to take the country as a whole is food supplies, converting people, look good, uh, be good, actually be good, whatever. And then there's a downside to that. You're wasting your time on certain people that just not want to get along with you. They just don't like you. You're not going to go war and kill my people and we just be friends and stuff. Why should I be friends with you? Why should I change my ways towards you? It's completely useless weight tax. It's like jail and prison system. It's just useless. Usually, what someone tells me, jail will either break you or make you. If jail breaks you and you get out, you ought to be super feminified and become super bad, like super evil, or it will make you, you would get out and you become a super villain. Yeah, good job, jail. So, why would a person become friends when you kill their family? Why would I overlook this? Why would I need a fake having a bigger heart? 
why would I need to do that? That's a waste of my time and my money to convince you and stuff like that. And so some people, that's how people most of the day see L, but as I said, that also have a bad side to it. If it just kill people like that because of hypocrisy and criticism is a bad thing. Because the moment you become a hypocrite, the moment you become the biggest fake out there and people are like, yeah, I'm never going to listen to you. So anyway. The next is when you, like I said, take the enemy of the country as a whole or don't take it as either or. It's hard to say it's a strategy. If your enemy appear to be, have more forces than you, if you want to go and attack, you need to deceive and make your enemy force look big or appear not there or guerrilla warfare or attack certain areas. If it's like 10 people versus one person, 10 people are going to surround that one person. If you are that one person like myself who always just does that, you just need to decimate this trash, this rig road. And kill the police that's with them. That is me. Or 5v1 or TV1. It's either or. Usually, if you're going to a bigger force or larger force, you need to have a plan to come up. And then the same thing will come in equal matches. If you have an equal match that's slightly off or almost the same, then you have more of a chance. But you still need to have a plan because both sides will know that ahead of time. That's when I was just basically starting just going to yourself and you know, we ain't gonna talk about that. But basically what I've gone over is I'm gonna give the basics. There's war, which this word I have never seen. There's battle, which is most of the stuff. There's scrimmage, and there's guerrilla warfare, and then there's play. So, war, which is the biggest one, battle, scrimmage, what, scrimmage, guerrilla warfare, and play. World War II, in my opinion, World War I, World War II, is minus right by scrimmage. The Vietnam War is more of guerrilla warfare L. And everything else from RAF to OEF to Desert Storm, and the uh, Panthers War, the Civil Wars, and back to that, it's most likely play. But, that is, those are my categories, and I don't care what y'all say. So basically, four players, more law, the heaven, the earth, the method of discipline, and the commander code. Fighting that scene. Playing the top. Time your war. Start a war and end a war. Know how it affects your finances. Know how it affects your soldiers and people or families and income or economic value yourself. Strategies. This is chapter one. I'm not going to go too far into it, but this is strategies. In terms of strategy wise, what do you want an outcome of the war? What is your angle? You want to take it out of the whole and just decimate like them both have good and bad. Deceive. All the words is based on deception. Yeah, you played it. You got did a good job. No, I'm sarcastic. I'm out.